Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to log in to your Evernote account. Let's begin. Logging in into your Evernote account is quite simple. If you're using the web version, all you have to do is go to the official website for Evernote and click the login option. What will happen is you would be forwarded to this section. You can sign in to continue with your Evernote account. You can use your Google or your Apple. If you haven't already, this is the perfect time for you to create an account. Just put your information here and just follow the on-screen instructions. Now, if you're using your mobile device, now if you're using your mobile device, doesn't matter if it, you're using an iOS or an Android, I want you to click the login option. Again, you can continue with your Google or continue with Apple, all right? Depending on how you use or how you open your account. If you click the login at the bottom right corner, what will happen is it will be forwarded to this section. Again, you can simply click your email address or username or continue with your Google when with your Apple account. I'm going to use my Apple because I'm using an iPhone right now. Now, in this case, I'm going to click the sign in button. Just wait for it. it. Takes a little while. And of course, it requires a face ID, which I'm going to do right now. Wait for it. Now it's done. Now I will successfully log in to my Evernote account on the desktop or I mean on the mobile device, which I am using the uh, iPhone. Now, if you encounter any problems logging in to your any of your account for both mobile and of course the uh, web version, I highly suggest you you go to the official site of Evernote and click the login problems. All right. For example, uh, type in something here, I click on continue and there's going to be an option that says forgot password or you can't sign in. You will be forwarded to this section. You will be asked your login issues, your email address. Account type is going to be individual. It's up to you. Be your personal, professional, and if you have an access to the email address. All right. What is blocking you? Probably like you're seeing an error message. You can't sign in to your or log into your account. Going to be using your Apple sign. All right. Or whatever you want it. Google sign in or email or username and password. You can put in the uh, error here. Can't log in. Or the email address that is associated with that. All right. And one of the customer support staff will give you insights and troubleshooting steps on how to fix your problem once you get them an email. All right. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.